Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. This is the third video in the series of uh, building a global war army and uh, in this video we will be building my global war Japanese army and you can build your army any way you want. With the Japanese there's actually lots of, uh, lots of choices. Um, I find that uh, for the three nations that are in the America game there's tons of choices. Uh, whether that's the Americans, uh, the Germans, although you do have to paint the Germans, or the Japanese. And here, let's just take a quick look at the America box here for the Jap Japanese. See that? They're the same color. So with the Japanese, they're, they're interchangeable. Uh, you just pull them out of the box. You don't have to do any painting or anything like that. Um, not only that, but uh, uh, I'll show you in a bit, but there's another set of uh, units that you can use that are also exactly the same color and we'll get to that in a bit. So let's go to, let's just go to uh, where we've been going all along to begin with and that's the sale, sale, sale bin. So um, I want you to notice something here. Uh, so we're looking for the Japanese, right? Now the problem with starting the way we did with the other ones, like here's the Japanese complete set and it is sold out it is out of stock and all the colors are sold out and i've been looking for a long time and it's been sold out for a long time so i don't know that you're going to be able to get any of these japanese pieces if they if you you know like you can send them uh requests and everything and ask that they restock them i didn't need to because i had the america game and so i had a ton of pieces but uh if you wanted them to restock this you could ask them i guess but that's not an option uh, starting with that base there. Um, I would like you to see this though. You say, you know, I've been using the Axis and Allies 1914 cruiser as my torpedo boat destroyer. Well, in this, uh, in Global War, for either the 1936 or the 1949 setup, or sorry, 1939 setup, uh, both of them. Um, you only need one each and of course like we've been talking about that where you have to buy five a piece if you're buying them from the base set but look at these here like this is only five cents here it's on sale right now and i'd like to show you something here like here are the here are the out of box pieces look at that those are the 1914 italian pieces they're exactly the same color so you know and uh, remember i was using the 1914 infantry sculpts as marines well i'm using these for the japanese marines too again exactly the same color so if you have the 1914 game or you just want to buy some 1914 pieces online like you can go to uh the 19 axis and allies pieces and go to 1914 and italy and uh there's a few pieces in there you can get like you could get the the other pieces aren't really appropriate i don't think you know like the artillery and certainly not the tanks the tanks are 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 ancient but uh these i i do use these and i do use the the coastal submarines uh, or i use the subs for coastal submarines so anyway there, there's a, an option for you there now let's just stay on the computer for a minute i want to show you Okay, what is this? Uh, this is the the battle pieces. Now there's a ton of battle pieces. Uh, like a, you couldn't um, get the sets, but like if, here, there's the airborne. You, you you need a set of that, so that's three forty five. These trucks here, uh, those are in stock, and you can get four different colors, including the burnt orange that you're probably looking for, which is the same color as the Axis and Allies. You get two sets of those, uh, and then there's the armored cars. You can get two sets of those. Um, and then, like, you probably already have mechs. Uh, there's some tank destroyers there. Um, there's some self-propelled artillery there. Um, and there's all kinds of stuff. Like, there's transport planes and um, there's uh, fighters. You probably already have fighters. There's uh, the jet fighters. And then there's all kinds of boats. Like, you're going to need the uh, light carriers, right? Um, I'm just assuming that you have the Axis and Allies pieces. Here, here's a piece here. Uh, this is what I'm using for the heavy artillery. Like I'm using the Axis and Allies piece for the light artillery. And this is my heavy artillery. Um, there is one thing I'd like you to see though. See the, the Yamato battleship. 
Okay, that's called a, that's classified as a heavy battleship. Uh, I want to just show you the Japanese card here. So in, in uh, the Japanese card, so you look at it and there's a battleship on there, right? But then there's also the Yamato class battleship. And that is, uh, so you'd have two different uh, types of battleships for the Japanese. Um, and uh, um, that's not, that, that doesn't include the, the battleship that you find in the 3D printed. That's a super Yamato. So that's not the one they're talking about. Um, but what they do have here is, uh, you see this battleship here, that's the Nagato class. And I haven't got any of these yet, but I think I might order some of them. Um, just so I have those, I can use these. And then, of course, with the Axis and Allies, then you, you get the Yamato, right? Um, so, what else do we got here? Let's just close that. I'm getting comments on my other videos. Um, what else do we have? Okay, so like Glory of the Empire here. This is the this is the set uh, that you you would get for the uh, the America expansion set. But uh, you could get this in the Global War thirty six um, expansion sets as well. This would be called Glory of the Empire. So like there's there's the the seaplane if you're planning on using seaplanes. So you whether you get a set of uh, you can get the set uh, either have two of each thing or five of each thing. And so I've got a set that's got five of these. So I've got five of these seaplanes here. Uh, there's the jet fighters. So like you could get the jet fighters here or you could get them where we just seen uh, in the other spot there. There is a heavy bomber there, a uh, heavy strategic bomber um, that you can use. Um, there's a, a tank destroyer. And this is a heavy tank destroyer. But uh, you'll see when I show you the pieces there, I, I've actually kind of changed them. But I might, you know, like I might just... Uh, go get more pieces and then use it as a heavy tank destroyer. I don't know because you can get rules for all of these things. This is a, a medium armor, although um, I'll show you that in a bit too. Like uh, I've been using it as a heavy tank and this thing here is a tank destroyer. I was using this as my light tank. Like you can buy all these things, but I already have them all. So I just repurpose them for something else. And then there's the, the America pieces over here. So I've got all these. these this is the out-of-box game. Like here, you got the Special Navy Landing Force Infantry. Um, I'm using those for my Special Navy Landing Force. Like you need a special sculpt for that. And, uh, you know, like there's, there, there's a, an advanced mechanized infantry that I'm using. And the self-propelled artillery right here. So there's pieces that you can use. This, the heavy tank is huge. Like it's just ginormous and so that's why i was using this tank destroyer as a heavy tank because this thing is just enormous um it, it, it almost doesn't fit on your on your board right like <laughs> you can't fit much else in the territory when you're using that so anyway let's just put this down here let's get rid of the computer for now and let's zoom in and take a look at these pieces i just wanted to show you that to show you where all the options are for you to find these pieces. So let's uh, zoom in a bit here. Okay, let's start with the infantry class units. And we'll tilt the camera down. Oh, there we go. So, uh, again, using um, uh, custom infantry for the regular infantry. So those would be the infantry that don't have any chips underneath them and they don't have round bases. Now, I don't remember who makes these ones? Um, like there's there's different kinds, but there's not very many different kinds of Japanese infantry. Like a, they're really lacking when you're looking for sets of uh, custom infantry. The ones that I really didn't like was uh, the Airfix. Like I've got them, they're in my closet. I don't use them. Um, the paint didn't stick to them and the, and the bases are just tiny on them. Like you, you, you just breathe and they fall over, right? But uh, this is a really nice set though. I really like these ones. Um, but uh, like if you look at these sculpts and then uh, you go, there's not very many, like I said, they, they show you what the, the sculpts look like if you if you click on them and stuff. So you'll be able to see which one it is if, if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so then um, Militia, again with Militia, glued them on um, and it's the out of box, unpainted um, um, Axis and Allies pieces from Pacific 1940. 
Um, I can go a little faster now. I don't have to explain everything. I've already been through these a couple of times. So then we've got that, that same mountain infantry sculpt. Um, we're use, and that's from the 1936 base set from Historical Board Gaming. And he's the mountain infantry. Again, we've got him glued onto the mountain base there. And the, the Historical Board Gaming, those sets of five that we went through first, uh, they have their own airborne sculpt. So there he is there. So you get five of those and you get five chips or they say airborne and there you are. Um, you remember we had the guards in the last uh, video with the Russians, like uh, how they all have some separate type of infantry and, and Japan actually has two different kinds of infantry and an extra kind of battleship. So they got lots of special things for them. But anyway, that th this uh, marker here, uh, this is um, Imperial Guard. And so you would use this marker here. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, blind here. But you would use this marker, um, and they're for veterans. Let, let me just grab the card again here. Um, so let's look at the specialist uh, infantry. Uh, where are they? Well, I guess they're not there. But if you look up here, um, it's the second thing down. Veteran infantry and fighters. Um, each time Japanese units win a battle, Roll a two, uh, D12 for each Japanese unit that was eliminated in combat. On a 12, you may promote one regular infantry, and that's any kind, or one fighter to veteran status. And they all have plus one attacker defense. So if, uh, you know, you win a battle, then you roll them and everything, and then say the mountain infantry, right? you just stick the mountain infantry on there, and that's the mountain infantry that's plus one attack and defense, right? So uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, the Marines, like I said, uh, where's my Marine there? He is, uh, he is the, the 1914 Italian sculpt and he's on a, a Marine ship. Now there is one more thing and that's the special Navy landing force. Like I showed you the America pieces there. So you get special, there's a couple of different kinds of chips you can get for special Navy landing force. I have this kind, uh, there's really no difference. I mean, they're both green and they're just uh, slightly different. But uh, you need the chip because these are elite Marines. And that's very important. America and Japan both have elite Marines. And that's a big deal because uh, if you've played um, Axis and Allies before, you know how big a deal it is for America and for Japan to be using transport ships. And um, when we get into the amphibious assault rules, you'll see why you don't want to use any other kind of infantry for amphibious assaults like uh, you uh, when when uh, the defender hits you you lose two infantry or you only use one lose one marine so that's a big deal uh, it'll be a lot cheaper for you to do that and also um, in the first wave of attacks that uh, you've got to take the beach so it's only infantry that goes in like all your tanks and your artillery and everything they stay on the boat on the first round of combat and if, if all your infantry get killed in the first round of combat then the attack is over and everybody else just stays on the boats and you go on to the next attack or your turn is over if you're if that was the last attack you're doing so marines are big big a big deal in this game and uh special navy landing force their their numbers are better than the regular marines so those are those are um something that you're really gonna want um okay so that's the infantry class uh, again, we have the factories. This is a uh, historical board gaming, the, uh, the major factory and the minor factory. And uh, they, like I said earlier in another video there, you can use any type of factory you want, but you are going to need to distinguish between the two factories. Like you're going to have to have the large and the small factories. And this, this is Ebar's uh, capital city set. Uh, this is going on Tokyo. This is the Imperial Palace. So that's just a like here, here's Tokyo here. That's just uh, so I see there's there's going to be a, a few red pieces on the board and that's it. And you'll be able to see, okay, that there's a capital city there. Just at a glance, even from 10 feet away from the table, you can see where the capital cities are. Although you won't be playing the game from 10 feet away. You can't get 10 feet away from my table. That'd be, you'd be on the other side of the room. <laughs> um, but I, like, I mean, it's 10 feet from here to the wall. So, you know, uh, but the, the point is you'll be able to readily see where the capitals are. Uh, so that is uh, those things. And then artillery. Um, artillery actually plays a really big role in this game because they've got first strike capability, kind of like subs in, in, uh, in 
in global 40 subs if you don't have a destroyer they get to shoot and then the casualties come off and then the rest of the units attack well that's the same in this game with subs and with uh, artillery so you'll roll your artillery first and take off all the casualties and then everybody else in the battle will roll and i'm talking about land combat here so artillery is a big deal in this game and now for the regular artillery here we are using where are we here da, 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 da. Hmm, I've got so much shit written down here on my page. Okay, that's uh, Type 92, 72, or 70 millimeter artillery, and that's the out of box one from Pacific uh, 40, Pacific 1940. And I showed you these earlier. This was uh, the heavy artillery that I'm using, and um, they are the Type 89 cannon, and that's from Historical Board Gaming, so you can get five of those. And you would use those after you developed. Uh, what is it advanced artillery then you get to use those and then this is you know this isn't part of the game but you can use them uh every they make them for every nation and that's self-propelled artillery so this would be our artillery that goes to spaces right and then for your aa gun that's a type 88 75 millimeter uh aa gun and that's the out of box uh, unit from pacific 1940 and what else have we got here? Oh, in the back there, we've got the armored car. And I showed you those armored cars. Um, what are they called there? Uh, Type 94. No, that's the trucks. I don't think it really matters. I mean, they're, they're, those are the ones from historical board gaming, right? So that's the armored car. And then the cavalry pieces, you get that from the, the Global War 1936 base set. So, where's my mechanized? Oh, here it is over here. So, we got the motorized and the mechanized. And they actually do have a pretty nice sculpt for the motorized. This is the Japanese truck here. And you can see it's got wheels. You're not going to mistake that for mechanized. Uh, and this is the mechanized. So, the vastly different sculpts. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to build your Japanese army um, if you have the money, right? Like, you, you use all of your 1940 pieces and then um and then you have to supplement it with a few like you got to buy the trucks and you don't have to have these if you don't want uh you like you could put a chip underneath um a chip underneath your mechanized and that would be your advanced mechanized like a kind of a color of chip that you don't use normally in the game you know like you can buy the pink chips from uh historical board gaming or an orange chip or something like that and, and put your mechanized infantry on there and so you wouldn't have to buy these. But these are out of box from um, from the America game. And uh, and 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 those are these, these are what I'm using for the advanced mechanized. Okay so for uh, the tanks now okay we got medium armor here and <laughs> I know this is a travesty. Uh, this is from the 1941 game and that's an, actually a tiger tank, right? And so if you didn't have the America game um, and you don't have any sculpts for heavy tank, you could always use these sculpts from the 1941 game. Uh, these are a Tiger tank and those are a German tank and they, 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 they were nowhere near the Pacific. But anyway, they, they have them and I probably won't use them. I've got so many of these medium tanks here um, that uh, I probably won't need them. And I think actually that the numbers are not as good for a tank by, for the Japanese because the Japanese tanks weren't that good. So in this game, unlike Axis and Allies, uh, in this game, not all of the units are, are, are built equal. You know, like the, they might cost different or the numbers might be slightly different. They're not gonna be vastly different, but the Japanese tanks aren't, aren't as good as, as uh, say the German tanks or the British tanks or, or the American tanks. Now this piece here, this was uh, one of the things that I showed you from the America game, and that is uh, a tank destroyer, but I'm using it for a, um, a light tank uh, because it's smaller. And like I was saying earlier, I might just go and get myself five of those or 10 of the light tanks from historical board gaming or whatever. Um, I bought so many units at once. I mean, you gotta cut yourself off at some point in time just so you can eat, right? And I already had the America pieces, so why not use them, right? And this is supposed to be a medium tank, but look at how much bigger this is than this one, right? So um, I'm using this for a heavy tank just because this one is so friggin' huge. Like the, this is supposed to be the heavy tank. This is the out of box from the America. And this is from the um, the, ex, uh, the expansion set from America. And it, it is so much bigger than, than this one here. 
that that's the one that I'm using for a heavy tank. And you know, that down the road, I might change that. And this is that heavy tank destroyer. Like this is supposed to be the tank destroyer and this is the heavy tank destroyer. But I'm just gonna use this one for the tank destroyer for now. Like I said, I might change them. Okay, in the back row there, we've got the planes. And I'm sure you recognize that first one there. That's the zero. And that's from Pacific 1940. And then uh, the other one is the FW-190 fighter, and that's from um, 1941. I'm pretty sure that's a German plane, um, like they have the German tank as well, right? So, uh, And then uh, this is the out-of-box tactical bomber from Pacific 1940. And they have exactly the same sculpt from... Um, from historical board gaming, but it's slightly nicer. Although there's not a lot of detail on, on these tactical bombers, so it's not that much nicer, like it's a bit nicer, but I mean, it's just a tactical bomber, right? It's not something that has a lot of detail to begin with. Uh, so that's a D3A Val tactical bomber from Pacific 40. Now this one here you'd recognize uh, from Pacific 40 as well. This is the strategic bomber, right? But I never liked this sculpt as a strategic bomber in that game. And in fact, I, I switched it a long time ago when I, when I was playing in Global 1940. Uh, because it, look, at how, look at the size difference between this and this. Like this is the strategic bomber. Uh, I was always getting these mixed up with the tactical bomber. Um, and you know, I've got a pretty good eye for detail, but it, they're just too close in, in size. Um, you can see that when you get right up and when you're concentrating on them. But like if you're not playing the Japanese, like say you're the American or something like that, and you you just glance over and you think, oh, I'm okay if I move my ship here. Well, you're not because there's a strategic bomber there. You thought it was a tactical bomber. So I never, ever liked that. And so rather than buying myself some medium bombers, and they're available from historical board gaming, but rather than buying some of those, I'm using these Betty bombers the strategic bomber from Axis and Allies, I'm using this for a medium bomber. Um, and then this one here, oh, we gotta move the camera now. This one here is the strategic bomber from 1941. And just like the Germans in an earlier video I showed you, this is exactly the same sculpt. That's the HE-111 bomber. And I'm going to use that for the transport. Even though you can get transports, uh, I'm just using it because I already had it, right? Um, and then this, <laughs> I know it's not, uh, it's not even, a, they're not even on the same side. This is a Lancaster bomber. This is like uh, the, the British bomber, but I'm using him for a strategic bomber and I don't care. Like I, I have paint, I painted them. Um, and like to me, I can, I can tell the difference between this and, and my heavy bomber. I can tell the difference between this and a tactical bomber very easily. Like I just, I did not like using my Betty bomber as a, as a, as a strategic bomber. So I'm using a Lancaster that's been painted in Japanese colors. And this is a piece from the America game. That's a KI-91 heavy bomber from the America game. Um, and down here next to it, we have uh, the Kika jet fighter, um, the JBN-1. And so I think, I'm not sure if this is the exact same sculpt that you can get that is just a regular um, historical board gaming piece uh, or if it's separate for the the um, um, America game but I know you can get jet fighters in either one so I didn't have to buy any because I already had jet fighters from the, the America game and then the next one uh, I've got a shit ton of these things that's the the seaplane uh, because that comes in the, in the bring in the heavy set, the expansion set. So that's a Kawanishi K200 seaplane. Uh, I'm using that. And what do we got? Okay, the boats. Alrighty. So I was showing you there, there's a difference between the battleships, right? Um, so here's a, a battleship here. Uh, this is the Yamato battleship from, um, from Pacific 1940, right? And I'm gonna, th I think I'm gonna get some Nagato battleships uh, just so I can use those as a regular battleship. And then this one here, this is a, a Yamato heavy battleship. I believe that this is the historical board gaming version. Uh, this is Axis and Allies and this is historical board gaming. And this is all painted up very nicely, uh, courtesy of my good friend Detroit at the garrison in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. He painted these up, he painted some American boats up. Uh, carriers, uh, light carriers, and um, and battleships, American battleship and, and a Japanese battleship. So what an awesome guy. 
Uh, anyway, this is this would be my Yamato battleship right here. And then, like, if I need two Yamato battleships and I buy myself some uh, Nagato battleships, then there, now I've got two Yamato battleships. And I'm also going to order one of those Yamato super heavy battleships. I don't know if me or whoever's playing the Japanese player is going to use them much, but um, why not? You know, I'm just going to order one, right? Let's see what happens. Okay, so the carriers, uh, da -da -da -da, next day. The carriers, uh, that's a Shinano class carrier. And there's a lot of different kind of carriers you can get. Like I think historical board game has got a couple of different kinds of carriers. And then when you're getting access and allies, I think that all the different, um, different versions of access and allies have a, might have a different carrier as well. And then the light carrier, that's a Japanese light carrier. That's a, Ryujo light carrier and that's from historical board gaming and you're gonna need a bunch of those uh, a bunch of both of them because uh, J Japan it's all about the naval right um, and then you got your Takeo class cruiser so that is uh, that's here and that's um, that is uh, your out of box uh, Pacific 40 cruiser um, and you can get a light cruiser from historical board gaming as well and it's got different numbers and it's not a destroyer it's not a they, they classify this as a heavy cruiser and so you can get a light cruiser as well if you want you can throw that in your game um, and then the the destroyer is right next to it there and that's a fubuki class destroyer and that's out of box from pacific 1940 and then over here we have the 1941 tra um, transports I really like those, uh, the, the 1941 transports. That's a Yamazuki Maru transport. Um, and then the other one here is for, from the 1940 uh, Pacific game, and that's the Hakusan Maru transport. Um, and then the, the I-Class sub, I think it is, uh, that's, um, that's from Pacific 1940 as well. <laughs> Although you can get some nice subs from... Um, from historical board gaming, it's probably nicer than these. Like these are these are pretty small and not very detailed. Um, but you know, like at, at some point, like I've already got lots of subs, so I'm not going to get them now. And someday in the future, maybe oh, I'll throw in five of these. And I've done that a lot over the over the last year and a half or whatever. And then I, I showed you these already: the torpedo boat destroyer and the coastal submarine. And you only need one of each. And so. Um, this is what I painted my units with. Like I, it didn't matter to me if I could not find the burnt orange color. And I got to tell you though, this isn't a great paint uh, for these. Um, you see it's burnt orange. Or, burnt orange is not a normal color. Uh, you can buy lots of orange paint, but not a lot of burnt orange paint. And so it kind of goes on a little bit too thick here. Let me, let me just take a look here. You see, uh, you see how it's taken out a lot of the detail on that? That's because I used a, uh, and then also, I put the top coat on and it, what it did was it kind of ate away at it and so it did it, it really ruined the finish on that um, so uh, what I did after that is when I used that paint I did not uh, put the the uh, top coat on like the clear coat so uh, I didn't make that mistake again so um, I showed you these America units now but there's also like here is a, a light or a medium tank uh, from America. Like you could you could use those instead of the other ones. Like here, where's the other one? This one is the Axis and Allies one, right? And uh, you can see the difference between the two. They look like almost the same tank. This one's a little nicer. It's got a little more detail. That's the America one. The America pieces are all really nice. Um, and then we got the the self propelled artillery. So they all go two spaces. And like I said, with artillery in this game, man, they, they're powerful because they shoot first. Uh, you got some self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. And here's those uh, those mechanized infantry. So I'm using those as the advanced mechs. These planes here, these are you could use these jet fighters as well. They actually fly backwards. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I sent Detroit some and uh, and he oh these are these planes you fly backwards so the big wings are in the back and the little wings are in the front I had no idea um, yeah and there's a couple of different kinds of uh, heavy bombers and you got your special Navy landing force these were the 
the uh, scalps that came out of box it was the special navy landing force that's uh, the out of box scalps for the america game and it looks pretty empty and it is that's because i'm using them all in my other box over here right so if i ever want to play the game america all i gotta do is take the pieces out and put them in here and, and play the game uh it's not a big deal right um i did actually have two of them I had a, a, a subscriber of mine who wanted one of my, like I had an old Axis and Allies map and he wanted it and uh, he wanted to pay me for it and I said, well, I, I don't sell things, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not a vendor and, and you know, like, uh, is there something you have to trade? And so he traded me a, a box of America pieces, like a, the whole thing, right? And so I had uh, tons of extra America pieces and I was giving them away as prizes and you know, trading people for other things uh, so that they would have heavy tanks and stuff like that. Um, so that worked out really well. Uh, and uh, uh, hi, Jim. I uh, hope you're doing well down in Arizona. I haven't heard from you in a while. So uh, he's a really good guy. I really like Jim. And hopefully that map worked out just like he wanted it to. Um, anyway, uh, I think that's it for the Japanese. I think I've gone through everything. So that's how I built my Japanese Global War Army. Uh, a lot of America pieces, some historical war pieces, a lot of uh, out of box um, pieces from uh, Pacific 1940 Axis and Allies. Um, you see less uh, historical board gaming pieces in, in, in this set compared to some of my other ones because you couldn't get that Japanese set, right? Like if you use that as a base, then all of a sudden you're, you're gonna fill it out more, right? You're gonna get more of those trucks or more of those uh, tanks or more of those whatever. And because I, I didn't have that set, I just used the other things that I had, like from the America set, you know, like uh, using this thing instead of the light tanks that they have. Anyway, that's what I've done. Um, and that's it. Nothing more to show you here. I'm just looking around, making sure. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, that's the Japanese. I'll upload this and it is the, hmm, oh, it's the Commonwealth next. So that's actually three nations. That's the UK and the FEC and Anzac. So all three of those will be next. So thanks for joining me today and uh, good luck in building your global war Japanese army. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade out.